I've never been a NASCAR fan, but my dad was. But I learned a very important lesson from Kale Yarber, watching him on one of the races, and I want to share it with you in your coaching business. Hey, Wayne Sutton here at HowToSellYourCoaching.com. If you're not at $10,000 a month in your coaching business, this is the place for you. If you are and you want to scale, then today's message is going to be exactly what you need to hear. Now, as I said earlier, I've never been a big NASCAR fan. Uh, I used to watch it some. I was actually one of the top three people about to become a NASCAR chaplain just a few years ago. So I can have definitely had my hands in the you know in that arena. But what really helped me more than anything in business was a lesson I learned from my dad. Now my dad did love NASCAR. And so I'm sitting at my grandmother's house on a Sunday afternoon, and here in North Carolina, what do people do? They turn on NASCAR. And so I'm watching, and I'm like, Dad, why don't he pass this car? It's just number two. My dad loved Kale Yarborough, and I still remember it was like a white and orange car. I don't remember the number exactly. I think it was 28, but he was he was literally just trying to pass this car. He's trying to pass this car. It looked like I'm like, Dad, why don't he pass him? He's right on his bumper. Lap after lap after lap. There's only three laps left. Dad, why don't he pass him? And he said, son, he's drafting. He's drafting. I said, well, what is drafting? And how does it work in your coaching business? Now, in NASCAR, when they're drafting one car behind another, what they're doing is they're cutting out all the wind. So the first car is having to face, what, 180 to 200 miles an hour against the wind. Can you imagine the pull on that car's engine and fuel supply? And the other one's behind them. So they don't have to give it full throttle. They can literally just ride on their bumper without putting as much strain on the engine, transmission, the drive axle, without using as much fuel. Basically, they're saving up, they're saving up, they're saving up. And what do you think happened on the last lap? You got it. He come around and down came Kale Yarborough and he had saved up the fuel. He had saved up some of his energy. The car had the power to go a little extra, a little harder. And of course, he passed and won. And I was like, I get it. I get it. Not only was it very exciting, but I understood drafting for the first time. And now, in business world, I understand it as well. So what is drafting and how can you do that today? Here's a couple ways we see it all the time. Number one is to piggyback, or many people call it piggybacking on media, or drafting. That means the media is moving ahead with something. The media is talking about, you know, whatever it may be. Maybe something good, maybe something bad. Maybe something positive, maybe something negative. But what they're doing is talking about something in the, in the media, uh, maybe a news event. And in this news event, if it's something you can attach your message to. So something that's happening, you can say, hey, how coaching is affecting the industry, whatever that industry is. Maybe it's something negative that's happened. We see this a lot. At the time of this filming, we're actually going through in the, not just the United States, in the world, this, um, this epidemic, pandemic, whatever you call it, of the coronavirus. And so it's a lot of people scared. A lot of people are, are walking away and having to do self-quarantine and go to the doctors and businesses are, are going to suffer through this. So, a lot of people, a lot of marketers are trying to jump on that bandwagon and they're using the, the, the coronavirus message as a way to get their message out. Now, use ethics and morality in this, but the fact is what they're doing is they're drafting behind the news. The news is already putting it out there. People are watching it. People's mindset is on the coronavirus, so they're drafting in behind that and then offering their solutions, whether it's directly related to that or something else. So my question for you is, what's happening right now that you can draft upon? What's happening in the media that you can piggyback on? As a coach, as a consultant, Whenever people came in, just a few years ago, the keto diet became very popular. And fitness coaches started either jumping on that bandwagon, running behind, so they didn't need as much money. Think about this, if somebody's already talking about keto, you don't have to have as much money to get the keto known. That keto, that term is known. So you just jump in, you're drafting behind, and maybe you're not gonna be as big as some of the big coaches, but you're drafting behind that. A lot of people did it with Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins started talking about anchoring, he started talking about swish patterns, and some of the things he did, he didn't talk about, he just did it. So people behind said, this is how Tony did this, and they anchored 
into behind him, basically drafted behind him. So think about this in your business. What is it, if you're a fitness coach, business coach, real estate coach, what's happening in the market today that you can talk about? Real estate coaches come on board and they go, hey, what's happening today is social media and digital marketing. So they jump right in. They talk about how to build your business that way or how you never have to use that to build your business. Here comes Zillow and people said, hey, you can build your business with Zillow. And they started jumping in on that or how you could get away from Zillow. They basically rode the curtain or rode the tail, I'm sorry, of the people that were really moving ahead in business, whatever that is. So that's a NASCAR trick for you. If you want to get ahead, sometimes you've got to stay behind. You've got to stay behind the person that's already cutting through the wind, making all the noise. You're just coasting behind and what you're doing is you're right there collecting upon all of their work and all of their energy. And then with the right time, you can move ahead and win the race. Now, I got some really cool ideas. If you will tell me what kind of business you have, let's jump on the call. You tell me what kind of coaching or consulting business you have and we're going to help you design your own NASCAR draft. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to draft behind what's already, how to piggyback what's already happening in the media, what's happening in the coaching business, and what's happening in the business world. So we're going to get on the phone, me and you, and I promise you at least one aha moment where we're going to take and show you a plan that you can use today to build your business. Call's free, no obligation. Jump over to callwithwayne.com. That's callwithwayne.com, and I look forward to seeing you there. Make it a great day.